If you're a parent, you're probably all too familiar with how expensive it can be to have your children participate in activities, which is why one woman in Clearfield County who has always had a passion for baton twirling decided to make it her mission to offer free membership. And this week's Making a Difference, I find out how she's changing the lives of young girls for the better. It's a grueling time for the touch of gold baton and flag teams in Kerwinsville. Hours practicing, making sure toes are pointed, batons are caught, and smiles never waver, at least for the few minutes while they're in routine. Hey! They look just like any other competitive group with their eyes on the gold. But what makes this team different is what you don't see. It is a free organization. We don't charge anybody anything. Julie Benamati, founder and coach for the Touch of Gold baton and flag teams, had a passion for baton twirling when she was young. I actually went and twirled at the collegiate level and I twirled at Lock Haven University. Um, the difference between me and a lot of the other people when I got to Lock Haven University was they all had coaches. Um, I was self-taught. Knowing how expensive lessons, uniforms, and membership fees can be, Julie decided to start her own group years later and make it affordable. Optional fundraisers throughout the year so they can earn their money. Um, a lot of these kids will go out and sell hoagies and pizzas and pay for, for everything within one sale. But what isn't optional is the passion needed. This is a year-round commitment. Our kids don't just twirl, you know, during parade season in the summer. They twirl all year round. All 30 kids trying to keep them organized is a lot, but I think it's really rewarding to be a coach. Julie started the group in 2002, but it wasn't until 2006 when she and her co-director, Mike White, decided to make their performances competitive. To watch them go out on the floor and just perform their hearts out for the judges and the applause and all that, and they walk off the floor saying, we did it. They travel throughout Pennsylvania and surrounding states to compete. They even go as far away as Florida. All of it is made possible through the contests they host. And while they have the dozens of trophies and titles to prove their hard work is paying off, what these girls are really taking away has nothing to do with awards. Well, I was super shy when I was little, so my parents got me to join whenever I was little. and. I've learned to open up a lot. Performing in front of crowds was really nerve-wracking for me at first, but I learned to get over my fear of being in front of people, and it's fun. Building a lot of self-esteem for this girl, some good news there. So if you know of a, a someone or a group or organization that's making a difference where you live, you can simply let us know by heading to our website this morning. That's WJACTV.com, and just click on the News tab there. You can also nominate them for a Jefferson Award.